So the question was raised how you would combine an effect like this with an actual scene. So let's go ahead. Um, it can be pretty simple or pretty complicated depending um, on the number of objects and intersections of objects. So let's just add a Suzanne monkey so that we can burn. Maybe put subsurf, go subsurf, smooth it out. And putting these in a separate layer so that we can render them separately and composite them separately so that we aren't running the smoke effects on Suzanne. So now we want to add a couple lamps. Um, just put them different colors. Make it look good a little. And I'm using 2.49 just because the billboard particles weren't working quite well in Blender 2.5, so sorry about that. Um, Alright, so to render it out right now, we should get um, this Suzanne and the smoke separate. So we want a separate render layer for Suzanne. Alright, so here we have a render layer for Suzanne and we also have the smoke composite. So combining them is relatively simple. Um, if we're just going to just place the smoke on top of Suzanne, all we need is a simple color band that we can use as a mask. So we can pull over the white slider value to adjust the mask and then we can use this mask as our mix factor and then we want to plug in the Suzanne for the top and the smoke for the bottom and that color ramp should do everything for us alright so you can adjust um, how much it combines with that color ramp uh, very conveniently um, say if you want some distortion you can do that pretty simple just get another color band just so it's easy to change and plug that in as the as the value for your displace node so you can um, you can adjust the strength of that distortion uh, with that color ramp. So that's just a nice handy trick. So um, in practical use um, I've used this in a trailer. I made the Omar trailer and that had some displacement um, on the hands and also some glow around it just to add some realism and that was just a simple overlay. Okay so if you wanted say two Suzannes, um, one in front and one in back, that'll get a little more complicated. Um, let's just add another monkey right now. Size it down a little. Let's, let's rotate it towards us. Alright. So, rendering this out now, we get Suzanne in the background. So you can see the Father Suzanne is completely hidden by the smoke. Um, so we're just going to, we can you actually use um, a Z combine, because the Z combine accounts for the distance uh, which the objects are in front of each other or in back of each other. But that won't actually work in this case. I can show you. If we plug in the Z values in the image, see for the smoke, we no longer have a distorted Z value. So you'll see those old billboard textures, alpha. But we want to get that effect with the monkey, the second monkey in front of the smoke, but with that um, alpha taken care of. So we can actually fake this um, Z combine node with a 
um, converter node. It's called the math node. Um, we want to use the greater than. So if we plug in the two z values, we should get um, an image that shows which z values are closer. So if the Suzanne object, second Suzanne object is closer, it's going to show up black over the over the smoke. So that's our faked um, z combine and it's now an image. So we can multiply that with our old um, one that we created earlier and we should get a combination of both of them with the correct distortions and the correct mask of the new Suzanne over the top. So that looks good. And you see the, there's uh, some rough edges over that uh, mask so we can soften that. That should do it. Alright, so just like we did before, just mix it. Um, you can add our mask as the factor and the Suzanne as the top and smoke as the bottom. And that should do it. And actually, you can see that's pretty distorted. Um, we can actually use a dilate erode that's in the filters, and maybe like one pixel that probably do it better. So it looks a bit li little better than the soften node. You can actually use a full sample um, anti-alias to adjust that, and maybe do some more distortion. So it should work.